welcome back everybody uh yeah we didn't get any racing in last weekend the uh weather was not looking good and we said right away this season that the only way we're going to be able to afford to race all year is to not lose money by driving to tracks that rain out and uh you know, both Friday and Saturday night tracks got the races in, and I'm happy for them. I hope they did well. Um, we're just, we're not in a position where we're going to do that this year. Uh, losing a couple hundred dollars in diesel uh, just because of rainouts is not something I'm, I'm going to risk this year. So that, and then uh, we did unfortunately have a little bit of a tragedy in the family. Uh, one of Barbara's cousins was uh, killed in an automobile accident, so... You know, obviously our thoughts are with them and we appreciate uh, you know you guys' thoughts for the immediate family there but uh, those things together kind of made us decide let's just stay home and let's get some work done so right here is some work I got done if you remember last year in the fall we rented a skid steer uh, this area had some huge mounds of uh, dirt that was pushed up when this area was excavated for this barn and it was all overgrown with some mulberry trees and just junk. So we uh, finally got this smoothed out. Over on that end, we're gonna grass seed. Somewhere in the middle here, we'll start limestone and we'll make a, a parking area for some trailers. Speaking of trailers, there'll be more on that later. But uh, today, I'm gonna get some work done around here as well. I'm gonna hop in the Kubota and the other area that I uh, pushed around with that skid steer, you saw we put that driveway in. Gonna get over to that area uh, where I was dumping the spoils from the uh, driveway. That's finally dried out and some of that turf has rotted to the point where I think I can break it up without hitting it with the tiller. So we'll see if we can't smooth that out with the grading scraper on the back of the Kubota MX5400. So I'm gonna do a little work out there. I've got some, uh, some tree trimmings I gotta clean up as well. So we'll get that done and uh, bring you guys along with us. So. Here we go. There are freaking rocks everywhere. Look at that thing. But the good news is, makes nice landscaping. Yeah, I do need to finish uh, pulling some of these roots out and stuff too, but this will all get some landscape fabric and uh, limestone. But it's looking pretty smooth, happy with it. So Barbara wanted me to teach her how to use the mower so she could cut the grass for her mom today. We've uh, got this Skag Patriot zero turn mower. It's, uh, I don't know if it's exactly commercial grade, but it's, it's pretty serious uh, zero turn mower. It'll go like 13 miles an hour or something, so it's a little bit of a handful and uh, she's starting to get the hang of it but she was out here giggling away a little bit ago while she was getting started on it so she's learning I don't think I'd be paying her by the hour but she uh, she's getting the hang of it they are kind of a handful when you first figure it out and this one like I said is it's not your box store uh, kind of joke so she's doing good <laughs> told you guys how much I love this tractor. <laughs> this thing is great. And the uh, cab with the air conditioning. Tough to beat. Tough to beat. There's the first load of uh, wood from these apple trees out here. Probably one more bucket full, I'll be able to get it all clean. But uh, yeah, these trees kind of took a beating over the winter. It's 
so I came out here and uh, trimmed them up a little bit got some broken branches and like half of this one broke off but uh, this one here I should probably just put it out of its misery but uh, it's almost kind of interesting to see it's even still alive um, of course it's got some bad news vines on it now but uh, it's almost completely gone in the trunk but it's still alive so part of me kind of thinks it's a challenge now to see how long they'll survive like this <laughs> so I'm gonna clean these vines out of here not right now I'm gonna get a different pair of gloves and do it and uh, be careful with them but yeah interesting stuff I mean this thing is basically just a really high horsepower wheelbarrow when you do work like this but it sure beats dragging this crap around all right well, I made just a couple of test passes here and uh, I think I can get away with doing this without the uh, the scar fires down on the box so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this on the time lapse and see if I can't shape this up so it's starting to bust up pretty good um, I just want to smooth it out and then maybe I'll go back and forth uh, you know vertically or uh, 90 degrees to the first passes here to try to smooth it out and get the shape that I want out of it but There's that. It's uh, smooth-ish. Definitely not done, but uh, definitely way better than it was. And I think now we can, uh, you know, when this gets overgrown again, we can actually get out here with the mower and uh, cut this. And keep it looking somewhat respectable while we uh, get building here. So another big win for the Kubota. Love this thing, man. It, just works. Here comes Barbara. She brought the dogs. Daisy. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. You didn't come for dinner. I didn't know there was dinner. Yeah, I texted you. I was working. Right. I was out at the street smoothing out the area over the culvert by our driveway. It's smooth-ish. Smooth-ish. Heavy on the ish. What do you gotta do to finish it? Oh, I just need some. It's all right. Okay. I think we got it going pretty good. Just gonna take a little bit of work, and uh, I got tired of going back and forth, so 
kind of what tractoring's all about, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's this thing's kind of a bull in a china shop when it's kind of small like that, but oh. wasn't all bad. This spot looks good. Yeah, this turned out really good. Are we gonna get grass seed on it this week? It's supposed uh, to rain this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, and I want to get some limestone this week as well, so I, I think we should all finish this this week. At oh, least good. get it seeded. Okay. Yup. Um, if there's food, I'm gonna go eat. Right, come eat. But the other thing I wanted to do is cut down that tree branch over there. That's. Oh, I'm not talking to the microphone because the microphone's in my other hand. Cut down that tree branch over there. You can't quite see it from here, but it hangs out over the trail and it hits the roof of the tractor. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna cut that branch off. And uh, then we all drive through there a lot easier. I won't have to do the snaky move around the around the tree branch. So that's that. The dogs look happy. These dogs are wound up. Nope, they're looking happy. I'll turn it back around on them. Dogs. Happy dogs. Yeah, Daisy actually had a injured leg for a little while. She's looking a lot better now. Ginger's indestructible. <laughs> She's a tank. She doesn't care about anything. All but. right. But yeah, all right, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go eat. And then uh, I'm going to cut that tree branch off. So, here we Sounds go. Sounds good. So, there is one good thing about not racing last weekend and that is that the race car is done and ready to go so that gives us more time to do this other work but got projects going all over the place out here i got to get a new starter in that quad and uh for now i'm gonna work on this chainsaw so this is another one of my clone chainsaws it's a john cutter 2500 it's 25 cc top handle arborist saw that's a uh, clone or knockoff of a Zenoya or Echo uh, professional grade arborist climbing saw. So it's got the little eyelet uh, right there to hook it into your kit for climbing and it's a one handed top handle chainsaw. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten the chain. Unfortunately, I like to always tickle the chain and, and sharpen them with uh, a hand file real quick before using them but I have no idea where my files are right now they're probably in the storage unit somewhere so uh, we're just gonna go with it it uh, doesn't look too awful bad uh, I'll toss a little bar oil in it and uh, we'll go trim this tree I also have no idea where my scrunch is at so we're just gonna use a good old-fashioned ratchet So yeah, we're gonna trim up some of the low hanging branches on this guy. This branch right here uh, hangs down and hits the roof of my tractor when I come through here. So I'm gonna trim that one off, probably this low branch on the opposite side, and then clean up some of these branches on the, uh, the inside of the tree that uh, are growing in on top of themselves. So I'll actually do that first and then uh, come back and get these bigger branches.
Well, there's another job done. So, yeah, that little bugger works pretty good for one-handed stuff where you gotta reach up over your head. Doesn't have a lot of power, but it's light, easy to manage for trimming. So, uh, I'm actually gonna go get the other chainsaw and uh, put this, cut this guy up into more manageable branches to throw on the brush pile. But uh, I'm already feeling better about the way that tree looks. So I'll be able to drive the tractor through here. So that's really all we're after. Cleaning things up a little bit and uh, making this more manageable. So of course I got a face full of sawdust doing that, but it is what it is. So anyhow, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Probably getting kind of long and I'm sure you guys don't care about my chores that much. <laughs> but uh, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. And uh, we appreciate having you, each and every one of you here. If uh, if you got a free second, please reach down there. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and uh, give us a like. We do appreciate it, and it does help other people find us. So thanks so much. I think we'll be back to racing, hopefully, in the near future. It doesn't look like the weather is going to be that great this weekend, but, uh, you know, can't control the weather. Uh, we are probably going to spend a little bit of time on the open trailer there too so more to come on that one but for now catch you guys next time thanks for watching